don't know if stripes was the right choice. I also don't know if this video in general is the right choice. Ugh. My heart is like, I'm like, I feel like I'm talking to an ex like five years after we broke up. How you been? I've been fine. Hi. Um, it has been five whole years. Five years, five years. I made a very dramatic video five years ago saying goodbye to you guys. Um, and then a couple years after that, I posted like a 10 year anniversary video. If you haven't seen that, although I guess if you're watching this, you've probably seen that. I truly thought I would never post on here ever again. Um, but then I thought it would be cool to do like a five year update type video. And on my Instagram, which if you don't follow me on Instagram, it, it's fine. But like, I've asked you at the end of every video for years to like follow me on Instagram. And like, you don't have to, but you don't have to. I don't wanna, don't feel, you know what? Boundaries, you set your own boundaries. I have gone to therapy. Don't feel pressured. You don't have to follow me, um, I, but you could. I have a TikTok now. I don't wanna talk about it. Uh, TikTok about it, nope. What was I saying? I forgot. I'll, I'll be, okay, here's the thing. I make videos still every once in a while on Instagram and on TikTok. I don't know why I'm embarrassed about the TikTok part. I shouldn't be, I'm not embarrassed, but like, I might be a little embarrassed. I film those on my phone. If I ever use a camera, it's a totally different camera than this one. So like this very specific camera, I haven't used in years. I, it, I think I'm just, I'm having, I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> okay, chill, Lena, chill. <clears throat> I'm sweating. Ah, oh, I should turn the air off because you could probably hear it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I haven't started yet. Um, okay, it's been five years. That feels crazy. Did y'all see that fuzz? I asked you guys on Instagram to send in some questions. I thought it would be cool to do like a five year update Q&A type video, but then I was like, I don't want to do a Q&A even though that was like the plan and I asked you guys for questions and I had saved a bunch of questions here to answer for you. I was trying to figure out like, why do I not want to do that? And I think it's because Q&As for me feel like, I don't know, like I'm like, you probably want to ask me questions about me and that, I don't know, it just feels like gross. Uh, this is like a conceited enough situation as it is. And also like in the past when I used to do YouTube full time, I don't know why I'm saying it like I still do YouTube part time. Back when I was like doing the best I could, I would really only do Q and A's when I didn't have another idea. And then I was trying to figure out what video do I do if I don't want to do a Q and A. Um, and then I had this idea. I thought it would be funny to have AI write this video. And I was like, oh, that's such a clever, funny, original idea. This is like a conceited enough situation as it is. And then I looked it up on YouTube and like, I don't think I've ever had an original idea in my life. So I thought it would be really funny to get on chat GPT and tell it to write me a video and then make whatever video it tells me to do. All right, so I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to write, I'm gonna say, write a script for a YouTube video of someone coming back to YouTube after five years. It, I, that doesn't mean I'm coming back. I mean, I don't know. I think we're gonna talk about it at the end of this video, but anyway. Um, thank the audience for their support after the last video. Keep the audience engaged the entire time. I'm not great at that, but maybe AI is. And should be really funny. Update the audience on the last five years. I don't know. And also tell them to Follow me on Instagram, please. You don't have to, I shouldn't, I'm not gonna say please. Not because I don't wanna be kind, but just because I don't want you to feel pressured. I have gone to therapy. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna let it write its whole little thing. That was so fast. AI is taking over. Oh, this is long, please. Okay, that's long enough. You can only do so much. <laughs> it's been five years. So we start with intro music, upbeat and energetic. Camera fades in to reveal a cluttered but cozy room. I just cleaned my apartment for this. <laughs> I don't like that it says cluttered. Why, why clutter? Anyway, sorry, just gonna read it. Cozy, I think 
Listen, I think my apartment's pretty cozy. Cluttered, it was before I cleaned up for this video, so I don't know. Anyway, focus, Lena. Camera fades in to reveal a cluttered but cozy room. A person, let's call them Alex. Let's not, let's really not. Let's almost of all the names. <laughs> That's not true, but like, I don't, we, it doesn't need to be Alex. I'm gonna change this. We don't need to call them Alex. We're gonna call them Lena. A person with a big smile and an exaggeratedly enthusiastic wave. Waving, hey, 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 everyone. Dramatic pause. It's been five years. Yes, five. If I were a TV show, I'd be the one that got canceled. Okay, okay. I'd be the one that got canceled, then had a surprise comeback season because of fan demand. That's not, I don't like where this is going. This is like a conceited enough situation as it is. Or, you know, because they were too cheap to get a new showrunner. <laughs> That's the comedy I asked for. I said be funny. I said be really funny. And should be really funny. Cut to a montage of old video clips. Lena doing silly things, dancing awkwardly, and failing hilariously at various tasks. Voice over. Remember when I used to do stuff like this? Ah, uh, good times, good times. I look back and think, what was I even doing? Cut back to Lena, who is now holding a mug that says, best procrastinator on it. Okay. So, where have I been for the past five years? Well, let me break it down for you. Holds up fingers. I traveled to exotic places like my couch. I really regret telling it to be funny. Should I start this over? Points at couch. Okay. I just... Really funny. All right. I got into some thrilling new hobbies like binge watching every show on Netflix and perfecting my microwave popcorn technique. Pops a kernel in the air and catches it in the mug. What? Why would I catch the popcorn in the mug? I, I Do I not have a drink in the mug? I don't want popcorn in my... Really funny. These are like Facebook boomer meme jokes. Or just like old millennial. I traveled to exotic places like my couch and I picked up a new hobby. Binge watching on Netflix. Like that's... Honestly, I probably made it a joke exactly like that 10 years ago, but... I like Netflix. I know it's cliche, but it's relatable. Can you hear Gilly breathing? Oh, I'll show you Gilly at the end of the video. Feel free to just skip to that. That sounds better than whatever this is. Cut back to Lena looking slightly serious, but still smiling. Okay, but in all seriousness, I want to thank each and every one of you who stuck around during my epic hiatus. I like that they're calling my hiatus epic. You guys are like the loyal friend who still remembers your birthday, even when you've missed their last 10 parties. I'm sorry, I don't... That's... I feel bad for that friend. I mean, I didn't even get invited to my own birthday party this year. Laughs. <laughs> Cut to a clip of Lena awkwardly trying to dance, but quickly stumbles and catches themselves. And speaking of awkwardness, here's to more of it in the future. Because let's face it, I've missed embarrassing myself on camera. There's just something so gratifying about tripping over nothing and making it a highlight reel. Really funny. I've been busy with some top secret projects like perfecting my skills and making sourdough bread. Really funny. And pretending I know how to fix a leaky sink. Cut to Lena holding a slice of bread and a wrench with a confused look. And should be really funny. But the real news is I'm back on YouTube and I've got some crazy fun content planned. I. I didn't write this. We don't know that it's going past this one video. We don't know that it's not. <laughs> we don't know. Um, okay, where was I? We're talking new challenges, epic fails, and hopefully a little less tripping over my own feet. Winks. <laughs> Gross, I hate that I just winked. Cut to Lena with a follow me on Instagram sign and a thumbs up. <laughs> And hey, if you want to keep up with my daily shenanigans and see behind the scenes of my questionable decisions, make sure to follow me on Instagram. The link is right there, points below. It's where all the magic and occasionally terrible selfies happen. Cut to a clip of Lena trying to take a selfie but making a funny face and failing. <laughs> the thought of like, I don't know what that means. 
like I've tried to take like a serious selfie and then I like oh, <laughs> messed that up. I accidentally made a funny face instead. I don't know. Okay, cut back to Lena smiling brightly. Thanks again for sticking with me, for believing in my comeback and for not forgetting that I exist. Here's to new beginnings, more laughs, and of course, more awkward moments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because trust me, you don't wanna miss my next epic fail. Why does it keep, keeps bringing up my failures? Like it's a guarantee and I don't like that. I have gone to therapy. Lena winks at the camera and gives a big thumbs up. <laughs> Please don't make me do that. Get you on the flip side, folks. Dramatic pose. Outro music, upbeat and energetic, fade out with end screen showing links to previous videos, subscribe button, and an Instagram handle. That was something. I almost want to redo this. Okay, but for real, I do want to say after my goodbye video, the response to that was incredible. Like I still have screenshots of comments and DMs that I got after posting that video that I like still read to this day five years later if I'm like having a bad day. I can't believe the response to that video. The support from you guys truly means so much to me and I never came on here and said that to you. I think I posted it about it on Instagram. But not all of you follow me on Instagram. Really funny. And so I just want to take a minute and let you know what that meant to me. And and I like, I'm not just saying that to say it. You know, it's kind of crazy now, five years later, because I worked so hard on my mental health. I talk about it really openly with my friends, with my family, with like people in my personal life in a way that I never did before that video. So putting myself back to where I was five years ago, it's a little challenging because I have to remember like just how hard it was to post that. I was so scared to post that. And so the response being so overwhelmingly positive was awesome. A lot of you shared your experiences with your mental health and your stories. And um, I, like I keep saying this, I'm just like really, really thankful for the response. There were some negative responses, which there always will be to everything. But a lot of the negativity came from people who have very strong opinions on medication. And some people didn't like the way I talked about medication in that video or that I talked about it at all. Um, and that's honestly like what I'm trying to do here. What I was trying to do is just share my experience and I tried to say in that video that like everyone's experience is different. That was my experience taking medication. That's what helped me. Maybe something different helps you. Yeah, I'm, but when I look back at it now, I'm just like, I'm thankful that it happened. I learned a lot from it. I've spent the last five years really focusing on my mental health, which has been great for me. Also, I really understand what a privilege that is. Like I have been given for some reason <laughs> the privilege of like time and therapy and medication. And I am really lucky in that way. It's, you know, not as easily accessible to a lot of people. And that's something that I, I try my best not to take for granted. And I, I feel really lucky that I've gotten to spend so much time focusing on myself, on my mental health and just like really prioritizing me. Um, which is something I didn't do for a long time. So I wanted to come back and make a video, a five year like update video talking to you guys. And originally that was all I was gonna do. And it might still be all I do, but the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I felt a little like eager to post more than one video. And then I, so then I like kind of stepped back and thought about it and was like, do I, I hadn't really considered going back to YouTube, making content again, um, more than just like this update video. But the more I thought about it, the more sense it made in my mind to at least try. And I think that that's what I wanna do. I think I wanna try. I don't want to like say like, I'm back and I'm making content all the time. But I do think I wanna make things and be creative and post videos again and just like see how that feels. And if that doesn't feel good, I'll walk away, much less dramatically this time. I haven't done YouTube full time since I was in like my mid twenties. And I don't know that I ever had a healthy relationship with YouTube. Um, 
And I'm curious now as, you know, someone who's like been through it and is older and has worked on my mental health and still loves creating things and making content and connecting with you guys. I'm really curious what that looks like when I'm in a healthy place. I'm curious what a healthy relationship to YouTube looks like. It's been on my mind for several months to the point where it just feels like I should at least try, see what it feels like. That's kind of what this is. And to be honest, like this, it feels cool. It feels good. It felt hard in the beginning when I started recording this. I, it felt weird, um, but that makes sense. I also think that content now, if I were to create more like long form content, I think that that would look different than it did. Um, five years ago, 10 years ago. I don't know exactly what that looks like, but I do think it would look different. And I think I owe it to myself to just like try and, and see. Um, I don't expect a bunch of you to stick around. In fact, I lost, I think a few hundred subscribers when I posted uh, you, the short recently. And that's fine, truly it's fine. I have gone to therapy. If you don't wanna get back together, it's fine. I understand, you've probably moved on. It's been five years. <laughs> I haven't. Just kidding. Honestly, with this video, what I mostly wanted to do was say thank you to you guys. I'm curious what y'all have been up to in the last five years. If you wanna leave a comment below, I'll be going through and reading them. That's all I got for you guys. I'm gonna go now. Um, I might be posting more. I might not. I think I will. Oh, I wanna show you Gilly. Th this is crazy. The last time you guys saw Gilly, she had like no white fur on her face or like not much at all. And now, look at that. Look at all that white fur on that little face. Look at all that white fur on that little face. Okay. She's 60 pounds. Have y'all been watching the Olympics and feeling real bad about yourself? Or is it just me? Facebook boomer meme jokes. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, I can't reach. Okay, bye.